Hi everybody, I'm Sergio with Mobility Direct and welcome to our YouTube channel. Thanks for stopping by. In today's video, we're gonna compare two of our top selling four wheel fast scooters. First, we're gonna talk about the Baja Raptor 2 in the four wheel configuration and we're gonna compare it to the E-Wheels EW46. Cute action. All right, everybody, now before we get started, I just wanna mention a few quick things. Number one, if you want a copy of our brand new product catalog, all you have to do is go to our website, www.mobilitydirect.com, click on the green button at the top of the page that says free catalog, fill out the simple short form that you see on the screen now, and you'll get one in the mail within one to two weeks tops. Now, something else I wanna tell you is that if you subscribe to our YouTube channel, you're automatically entered into our monthly giveaway raffle. We give away a free powered mobility product once a month to a random subscriber of our channel. But that's not all. You can find out how to win a Raptor 2 four-wheel, which is going to be a special giveaway. And we're going to tell you how to enter that giveaway at the end of this video. So make sure you watch this video all the way through so that you can see how to enter the separate raffle Aside from the monthly giveaway, we're doing a separate raffle for a Raptor 2 four-wheel. All right, so let's go ahead and dive into the specifications and talk about what makes each one better than the other. Now, I'm not gonna go over every single spec. I will throw the specs on the screen right now for a moment for each model so that you can pause and go back at any time. Keep in mind, you can also go to our website and use the compare products feature to compare multiple products on our website. It'll put all the specs for each product that you add to the compare list side by side, and you can print that spec sheet out, which is actually what I've done here. So we've got all the specs side by side, and we're gonna go ahead and dive right into what makes the Raptor 2 better than the EW46. There's quite a few different specifications that make it a better option. Now, one of the most notable options is gonna have to do with the power. If we go back and look at the motor on this thing, it is huge. It's got a 1200 watt motor compared to the EW46, which only has a 500 watt motor. Now this motor is, on the Raptor that is, is powered by two 12 volt batteries that are 75 amp hours, while the EW46 has four 12 volt batteries, which are, according to the specifications, they come with 20 amp hours, but we know that the same size 18 and 22 amp hour batteries would fit. All right, before we go any further, I just wanna take a quick break to let you know that at the end of this video, aside from learning how to win one of these, we're gonna do something very controversial that we've never done, that anybody has ever done in the mobility scooter industry for their YouTube channel. No one's done anything like this. So stay tuned to the very end of this video for something explosive. Something else I wanna mention is that the Raptor has a universal hitch receiver on the back, which is wildly important for a lot of people that need to put accessories like this rear basket. If you need a walker holder, cane holder, oxygen tank holder, this universal hitch receiver in the back, you just pull this little pin out and it comes out. Now you can install any universal accessory that works with a one inch squared tube like this one and plenty of customers need that. So maybe you don't, but if you do, it's nice to know that the Raptor has that one inch hitch receiver in the back. Now let's talk about one other really important factor, which the Baja Raptor 2 takes the win for, and that is the seat comfort and the seat adjustment options. So with the Raptor, we have a 20 inch wide premium captain seat with two-tone stitching. You've got the nice white stitching. The back is a moisture wicking, rain resistant material. It has memory foam on the base here and it's 20 inches wide, whereas the EW is 18 inches wide. I also wanna mention that right here, if you stick an Allen key in there and loosen up that set screw, you can raise the armrests up. 
So the armrests are height adjustable and width adjustable. So you can space out the distance between the two armrests and make more room. Depending on the user's uh, size, they may want to have more space between each armrest and that's totally possible with the Raptor 2. The seat also does slide forward, but it does on the EW46 as well. So both the seats on both models can slide forward and back with this little lever right here. You can bring the seat forward and back. You can recline slightly, not really much at all, with both models. And on the EW46, again, it has a smaller seat, the 18-inch wide seat. You can flip the armrest up, but you cannot adjust the width or the height of the armrests. So you're really limited on your comfort adjustment features. And we're going to also show you here that the seat, the backrest, kind of has this huge gap between where you sit down and your backrests. Whereas on the Raptor, it's kind of all the way down providing you with more lower back support. They both do come with seat belts. I should point that out as well. And that just about covers it as far as the seats go. All right, now something else I wanna talk about here is that on the Raptor 2 four wheel and the three wheel for that matter, you have two braking systems. You have a manual disc brake, which is engaged with this lever and you have automatic brakes. So just like any other mobility scooter, when you let go of the throttle, the automatic braking system will kick in and it's gonna bring you to a complete stop in about one to three seconds, depending on how fast you're going before letting go of the throttle. So if you're going full speed, yes, the automatic braking system will take about two to three seconds to kick in, but it has a backup disc brake system to help you stop even shorter if you need to. Whereas on the EW46, it only has manual brakes. So you have to rely on your hand strength and dexterity to pump the brakes, so to speak. Now you can pay to have an automatic brake feature, which is an electromagnetic brake option, but it is a paid upgrade. And I'll be honest with you, this model has it and it really does not do what you're expecting it to do. Like most mobility scooters, when you let go of the throttle, it comes to a complete stop and it's locked in, which is really safe and helpful if you're stuck on a hill and you don't remember to use your handbrakes. With the E-Wheels models, the electromagnetic brakes just act as an assistive brake, but it doesn't actually keep you at a stop if you're on an incline. So you can roll down a hill uncontrollably with the upgrade on the electromagnetic brakes for the E-Wheels models. So it's not really a true automatic brake system, but it does help you slow down a little bit more compared to having to rely on your complete hand strength. So something else that makes the Raptor 2 and really any Pride Mobility or Baja Mobility product better than an E-Wheels product is going to have to do with the warranty support and the accessibility to get replacement parts when you need them. And I hate to say it, but getting parts for E-Wheels products is like pulling teeth. When it comes to parts for Pride Mobility or Baja Mobility products, it's quick the reps that we deal with at Pride Mobility and our internal supply of parts are always readily available and we can get them out to our customers quickly. The warranty support on the Pride Mobility product is also going to include a six month limited warranty on the battery, two year limited warranty on the electronics and a lifetime limited warranty on the frame. Whereas on the e-wheels, you only get two months on the battery and we've had a lot of customers get their scooters with batteries that almost seem as if though they've been sitting in the warehouse for several years, they don't really last long. They end up going bad really quickly. And once you're past that two month mark, there's nothing that they can do for you. There's only a one year limited warranty on the electronics and the drivetrain and a three year limited warranty on the frame. I will tell you that the frame on the Raptor seems like it's got a much better welding job. It's a lot stronger steel. And on the E-Wheels, we've seen a lot of them come with weld jobs that are just not so clean looking, which I can just even point out right here on the front of the bumper guard. You could see really large weld bubbles there. And again, we've had several models show up with weld jobs that are just really, really bad. And we've had to send them back. Whereas on the Raptor, the weld jobs look extremely professional. We have not had any Raptors show up with really bad weld jobs that would require for us to send them back. Now, one last thing that I want to point out is the price point. E-Wheels products are known to be cheap, affordable, and unfortunately, not the best quality. 
And that's why you don't get the support when you need it down the road on the warranty side and the parts side. Whereas Pride Mobility is one of the most well-known and trusted brands in the industry. Sure, they're more expensive, but guess what? You get the support you need down the road after the sale is made. You need parts, you need warranty support. They're quick to approve claims. They provide you with that support you deserve when you're buying a product that costs several thousand dollars. Not only that, Pride Mobility is so confident in their build quality that they include a one-year in-home repair contract. So if you do have a warranty claim, as long as it's approved by your authorized dealer, Pride Mobility will dispatch a certified technician to your home to work on the warranty approved claim. So if you need a part under warranty or repair done, you don't even need to leave your home. And that just adds a ton of value. If you're buying an expensive product, in my opinion, you probably wanna spend the extra few dollars just to have that peace of mind. All right, so a few other things. And remember, stay tuned to the end of this video if you wanna learn how to win one of these bad boy mobility scooters. But I do wanna talk about not just what makes the Raptor better, but some limited features that do make the e-wheel stand out. Um, now, the e-wheels and the Raptor are both available, by the way, in a three-wheel configuration. We have videos for both of those. We even have a separate comparison video comparing the three-wheel EW to the three-wheel Raptor, which you should check out if you want a three-wheel model with a better turning radius. That's what the main difference is between the three and the four-wheel. The three-wheel turns sharper. The four-wheel models provide better stability. So, enough of that. Let's talk about what makes the e-wheels a little bit better. Supposedly, allegedly, the e-wheels can go up to 35 miles on a full charge. We haven't tested that. We haven't gone on a 35 mile trip. If you own an EW46 or 36 and you wanna share your experience with us, we do encourage that. Leave a comment below and tell us how far you've gotten with your EW46. I can tell you from experience, a lot of customers report that that does not meet the expectations, does not match the manufacturer specs, that they don't get even close to that. Nobody has really tested it here, so we can't disprove that. However, they both hold 400 pounds. They both go 13 miles per hour. Again, something else that makes the EW46 a little bit neater is the fact that it has a key fob with an alarm system. The Raptor does not. So you can actually set the alarm. Right now it's enabled. And watch what happens. We're gonna back up with the camera. I'm gonna push the unit. So if you push the unit, alarm goes off. So it is nice to have that feature for security. However, if you go to Amazon for 20 bucks, you can get a bicycle alarm, which you can activate with your cell phone or button. And if it senses motion, it starts going off even louder than the speaker does on this alarm system. So aside from that, you've got a light system on this model, which we're going to throw on the screen for you. It is a little bit brighter. However, the bulb on the EW46 is not LED. You can tell it's a little halogen bulb in there, which I'll be honest with you, we get a ton of calls for people calling about their light bulbs going out and needing to be replaced, which is a pretty big pain in the butt to have to replace. Everybody knows LED lights are more efficient. And with the Raptor, we have not had a single customer call trying to replace the LED light bulb or bulb assembly in their Raptor. Overall, folks, the Raptor is more expensive, but you get what you pay for. You get that one year in-home service agreement, you get the better warranty support. And I'm telling you, we're gonna dive into the components, the internals, the controllers, the wiring, and show you why it's worth to pay the extra money to get a product that's gonna provide you with several years of hassle-free use instead of going the cheap route and purchasing an E-Wheels product. Again, E-Wheels is known to make cheap products, so if you need something on a budget, it's not bad. All right, folks, so we're gonna go ahead and show you how to take the batteries out and show you the wiring, the controls on the EW46, and we'll do the same for the Raptor next. Just grab your key, put it in the key slot there, give it a little slight turn clockwise, and then you can lift the seat up to expose the storage compartment. There's a breaker switch, a couple of screws that need to come out, and we're gonna go ahead and fast forward through this. So we're just removing the screw that is attached to the terminal hole on the fourth battery so that that red wire from the breaker reset switch can become loose. And now we can kind of get the storage bin and kind of drape it over the side. And here we see the batteries. 
You can tell that the screws on the terminals are screw-in, which is very unusual. Most of the well-known battery manufacturers do not use screw-in terminal screws for this size battery. And we also want to take a look at the controller. You can see that it has a odd type of controller that you don't really see in the high quality mobility scooter market such as an S drive or an R series controller by Lynx or Dynamic. This is more of like a two wheel scooter that you know is meant for recreation and fun kind of a imported from overseas kind of controller that comes with a user manual that's in a foreign language most of the time. I also want to point out that the wiring <laughs> Let's go ahead and pull that out and show you because it's tucked in there in a Ziploc bag. Okay, so wire management gets an F. Um, we're going to go ahead and cut the zip tie that's holding all of these spaghetti wires in a Ziploc bag and show you the mess of the wiring job that they use on these scooters. All right, so just to point out here, this little bar that's holding the batteries down, it's got some rubber over it and it was absolutely stuck to the batteries because the batteries overheated. And I've seen customers come into our showroom with these batteries swollen and puffed out to the point where you can't take them out. They're so overly inflated and puffed out, like they're about to expand so much it's gonna crack the casing and they get stuck in the compartment to the point where you have to use a Dremel or cut into the housing of the battery cradle to get them out and to replace the batteries. It's just a nightmare sometimes. And we're gonna go ahead and continue to unravel the wiring and show you everything about this thing. All right, so we took the bar out. We got the wires disconnected enough to where we can start removing the batteries. So we're just gonna take the batteries out one at a time and uh, proceed to uh, do something really special. Make sure you stay tuned to the end to see what we're gonna do here. So, Tian Neng. Never heard of that brand before, have you, Drew? No. <laughs> Normally we have like Mighty Max, uh, Duracell, AGM, uh, Dakota, Dakota uh, UPG, you know, but I've never heard of that brand. All right, so there's that compartment. It's empty now. Now, Drew, would you mind going in there and getting the uh, zip tie cut that's holding that uh, Ziploc bag? From the controller? For the controller wiring? Yeah, let me just find the, the, the zip tie real quick. Right, so now that the batteries are out, I wanted to point out the, the, the wiring here to the controller and alarm. Uh, this is your controller and this is the uh, bundle, if you will, that the wires are put into that's exposed all over the scooter. Um, it's just literally put in a Ziploc bag and it's tucked behind this bar and the bumper of the scooter. So uh, you can literally just pull this out. It's not secured in here by any means whatsoever. So these are all your connections for the wiring of your scooter. So it's not even really put into a, a secondary controller, it's just put into these uh, bus terminals, if you will. So what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and cut the wire, the zip tie that they use to close the zip ziplock bag with. And I'm gonna show you the wiring here. So there's your zip tie. Well, if you have any pride in wire management, then I guess this would be the deciding factor for you. And there is, is no wire management here. This is a spaghetti pile of wires that have been stuffed into a Ziploc bag, which they then zip tied to a part of the frame. It wasn't even secured, so vibrations can cause uh, all sorts of electronic uh, component failure because of the uh, connections just getting loose. connections. I mean, there's really nothing here for uh, corrosion either, water resistance, nothing. That's why I was thrown in a plastic bag. And you can, even, bag. you can even tell the quality of the wire is not a silicone wrapped sleeve. The connectors look very, very cheap. Let me tell you, this Ziploc bag is only one lock. It's not even double lock. <laughs> even the Ziploc bag is low quality. They didn't use Ziploc. So, I mean, they're cutting corners on almost everything to get that price to get that price down as low as possible, cutting corners and 
Folks, if you're spending a couple thousand dollars on a scooter, that's not what you want. I mean, let's... All right, so this is the storage compartment. It's got a little thing there, which is nice. Pretty convenient that they thought to include a little thing there to hold the seat up, right? Look closely, you'll see a little um, circuit breaker. So you can click that button there where my screwdriver is and it's gonna pop the breaker. So now the battery's not giving power at all anywhere. Power, the battery power has been disconnected from that switch. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to get in here and show you how to change the, um, the batteries. So you can see this is being held down here. This is the locking mechanism. So I'm gonna start by removing the screws here. Now keep in mind, this is a brand new unit. Never have I uh, changed the batteries on this unit because it just came out. But I know Pride Mobility and they like to make things convenient, not only for technicians, but for customers. So it's just two screws. So you can see in here, the wiring on this thing is pretty well organized. Thick wires with mesh covers on the sleeve. The wiring itself is a high grade silicone sleeve on the wires. Everything is labeled left light wire clip, right light wire clip. You've got the serial number for the wire assembly for the motor. You've got sleeves, heat shrink on everything, covers for the battery terminal connectors so that no water or moisture is gonna get in there and corrode stuff. You could tell the weld jobs are super clean. There's a really high quality circuit breaker here, which is almost like a marine style application that you would see on a boat. I mean, just look at the motor itself. It's a high quality motor, the suspension, high quality suspension all the way through. Look at this controller. This controller is an S drive controller. This is one of the most high quality controllers on the market. There's really nothing better than an R series or an S drive controller. And that's what we see in all of the high quality mobility products. Everything is labeled here. You could see M negative and positive. That's the motor positive and negative, the battery negative, battery positive. All of it's labeled high quality connectors and every single wire comes with a serial number on it that even has the revision. So sometimes they come out with version one, version 1.2, version 1.3. They're including not just the serial number of each part, but the revision. So when you call to get parts in the future, they're gonna cross check your serial number and the revision or version type for that part to make sure everything is compatible. So this is a Raptor 2 by the Baja Mobility Series under the Pride Mobility corporate umbrella. And I just wanted to point out how everything in here is just so meticulously clean. They thought of everything from wire management, construction quality of the welding on the frame, labeling of the parts, batteries being secure and covered for protection against the weather, you know, rain, dirt, debris, not getting on the terminal clips. This is what you would expect. You even have a diagram here that shows you that the batteries are wired in series. So in case you need to replace the batteries, you know what to do. It's all here. They've got their warning labels, serial numbers, more warning labels. This is what you would expect from Pride Mobility, regardless of which product you purchase.
Well, folks, we're going to go ahead and wrap up this video. Please don't try and replicate the stunts that you saw in this video. Most of it is done using CJI. Uh, I do want to go ahead and mention a few things. Like mentioned at the end of this video, we wanted to explain how you could enter our giveaway to win one of these awesome scooters. And it's quite simple. All you have to do is subscribe and comment on this video. Just mention hashtag Baja Raptor 2 in your comment or just ask a question. If you have a question in the comment section, we will reply to you. So by subscribing and leaving a comment, uh, you will automatically get entered into the giveaway and we will announce the giveaway winner at 50,000 subscribers. We're currently just under 40,000 subscribers, so we should be there soon with your support. So again, subscribe, comment, you're automatically entered to win one of these awesome scooters. I hope you're the lucky winner. By the way, if you want to learn more about our other four-wheel fast scooters, we have a whole playlist dedicated to off-road scooters. We even have a comparison video of the best heavy-duty scooters for outdoors, which you can check the link in the description or just click right there at the top right-hand corner. It'll take you right to the video. Remember folks, we do offer this product and all of our scooters for sale tax-free. Shipping is free at our website, mobilitydirect.com or in-store. We do have non-commissioned sales experts ready to give you a coupon. All you have to do is call, they're friendly, they're not pushy, they just wanna answer your questions and recommend a product that you're gonna enjoy or your loved one's gonna enjoy for many, many years to come. As you can imagine folks, with the EW46 being exploded, um, we are probably gonna cut ties with E-Wheels and stop offering their products. Uh, it's just been too many headaches over the years and it's just not right for us to sell such an expensive product that doesn't come with the warranty support and parts that are not available. It's just a mess. We're, we're done dealing with the E-Wheels products. If you have had an E-Wheels products and you had a bad experience or a good one, please let us know in the comments section below. Uh, the Raptor four wheel by Pride Mobility is gonna check all the boxes and outperform the E-Wheels by a long shot, as you could saw with the build quality, uh, the ride, the comfort, the warranty support, the parts availability, everything about the Raptor 2 outperforms and beats the EW46 by a long shot. So if you are interested in one of the two, I would highly consider going with the Raptor 2 four-wheel. It's a little bit more expensive, but it's worth every penny. Also, just to let you know, our next video is going to be even more amazing. So make sure you are subscribed so that you get notified when we release new videos. You're not going to want to miss our next video. Again, my name is Sergio. I'm with Mobility Direct. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Until next time, have a great day. Take it real soon.